and we are in line 17 of Psalm 105. He sent a man before them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. And so we talked about Joseph already, but it does give us a reference scripture, scripture to Genesis 45, uh, 5. So let's look at that. 45, 5. That says, but now do not therefore be grieved or angry with yourselves because you sold me here. For God sent me before you to preserve life. All right, and so that's when Joseph had made himself uh, known to his brothers and stuff like that, what they did to him. Uh, they thought they were doing him dirty, but that was just to preserve their life. And so sometimes when you think that people are putting down on you and things are not going your way and stuff like that. And then that's why you have to mind how you treat people because them same people will be the same ones to help bring you out of a situation. They did their brother dirty. Just because they told him, uh, he was telling them uh, their dr his dreams and stuff like that, they got jealous of him. That jealousy is another thing. That's another story. That that jealousy caused people to do crazy things. Even kill people. That's what the, the, the whole world started crazy because of jealousy. Jealousy. Satan was jealous of Adam and Eve because they had everything and tempted them people. Uh... Uh, Cain was jealous of Abel and killed his brother. Here we have Joseph's brothers jealous of him and, and did all kind of stuff to him. Put him in that pit and all that stuff. Got, had, had him sold, you know, and stuff like that. But all that dirt that they did to Joseph, and Joseph took it because he had the favor of God on his life. He was a prophet of God. And that they weren't supposed to do him no harm. Anyways, it, it was still to what? To help them. So people may not be there for you. People may reject you. People may put down on you. People may put you in a pit. But still keep pushing and persevering. And keep your eyes on a prince of peace. And a promise of the peace. That he's going to bring you out. Without a doubt. And when he does. Give him a praise full of shout. So let people continue to put down on you. Because them same people, you may have to help them out of a situation. So you just continue to do what is right. And right is going to always follow you, mama, as my mama says. And God has that, that his hand of protection on you. So look at, uh, going back to Gen, uh, Psalm 105. It says, so he sent a man before them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. He came, became a slave. He went from being a slave to what? To the second in command. It doesn't matter where you start. It's where you finish. It's how you end. 18. And just because you've been in prison... Doesn't mean that your life is over. Your life isn't over just because you went to jail or went to prison. God can turn everything around and put you in a palace. Just keep pushing and persevering. 18. They hurt his feet with fetters, and fetters are shackles for binding the feet. He was laid in iron, so he's... His soul came into iron. That's what I mean. His soul, even his soul came into iron. I mean, people hurt you so bad. I'm telling you, it just makes it seem like everything. It just, your whole soul is, is a solid, solid steel. Genesis 4, 40, 15, it gives us a reference scripture. That says, for indeed, I was stolen away from the land of the Hebrews, and also I have done nothing here that they should put me into the dungeon. And clearly, he, he, uh, he didn't. All right? And then so now, let's go back to Psalm uh, 105. 19. Until the time that his word came to pass... The word of the Lord tested him. 
And so until the time that his word came to pass, the word of the Lord tested him. And so, and, and you know, you know, Joseph's dream and all this stuff that he dreamed, he said it. That's his word. All right. Until that came to pass, the Lord t put him through all series of tests. And we're got to be tested. There's no, without any test, there's no testimony. And if we don't go through any tests, how, how God knows that we are really uh, going to what? I guess be his. We, I mean, a teacher has to be able to test his students to see if they acquire the, the right knowledge and the understanding and the wisdom from an assignment. That's how you know you know what you know. And so we get tested by God so that we'll know who we know. What we know and who we know. Whew, that's something right there. Um, so until the time came, the word, uh, to the time that his word came to pass, the word of the Lord testing him. And so, um, oh, I'm over. Uh, let me, uh, let's pause and we'll pick it up in 20.